I have given a name to my pain. Hey now, welcome to episode number 23 of the Batman on Film vlog. I am your host and the founder of the now 20-year-old, come tomorrow actually to be official, to be official, 20-year-old Batman on Film. I am Bill Jett Ramey. I turned 20 yesterday. Yes, yeah, sure you and, did. And BOF is turning 20 Saturday since this mm -hmm. is Friday, that's, June 1st. That's ironic, isn't it? Wow. Hmm. Feels good to be 20. Yes, I bet it does. Well, too bad you were not legal to drink like me. Um, Rats. And right there, this this young whippersnapper uh, who's joined me today is uh, Rick. <laughs> is Rick? <laughs> is Rick Shue? How you? How you doing, Rick? 20 and going strong, okay. sir. Okay. I am also not only is Batman on film turning 20 tomorrow. And speaking of which, if you go to Batman on film, Justin. Uh, Kowalski has come up with a very cool Batman 20 logo, and you can get that on a t-shirt. Uh, actually, you can get it through the weekend for 14 bucks. I got me one yesterday. So uh, do that, and all the proceeds go right back into Batman on film. So we would uh, appreciate that, and you can help celebrate Batman on film 20. Um, but anyway, besides Batman on film being 20 tomorrow, today I am officially retired as from... Uh, from my coaching and education career, officially. You have been living on a teacher's calendar schedule. I have. Since, since you were four. Four. Is that what you were saying? Four years from old. From school. Because you went to, you know, all through school, college, and then right into yes, teaching. right into it. Right into, right into coaching and teaching. And 48 years, my life has been based, my count, my year is August to end of May. And now I'll get to live on a regular January December schedule, I guess, probably whenever I want to, or maybe. When you, what? Yeah, go ahead. No, I was saying. And when are you guys moving to Austin? Two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two years. So, as my uh, my uh, uh, colleague who I coach with for eighteen years, nineteen years, um, retired last year. He's I'll, when I text him, say, "Hey, how's it going?" He goes, "Just another Saturday." You know, no matter what, what, what day of the week it is. So, but, you know, got Batman on film. Batman on film will be full-time gig now, which has kind of been one anyway, but it'll be my real full-time gig. At least I'm, that's what I, when people say, what do you do? I'm going to say, well, I'm retired, but I also run a Batman website. That always, that's always, also make, that always makes for an interesting conversation when I bring that up. Really? You know, Batman website. Okay. Um, Rick, what are we doing here? We just, uh, we're rambling on here. So anyway, Batman on film 20, I'm retired, Rick claims he's 20, and anything, and, and Rick's going to Mexico tomorrow, hopefully. Hopefully. So my passport <laughs> expires July 8th. Looks like Mexico isn't one of the countries that requires you to have it within six months, uh, as long as it doesn't expire when you're returning, which I'm not, that's not going to happen, but I'm still just a little little nervous. I just want to get on that plane tomorrow and go. The good news is once I get there, I'll get home. Good. Yes. Don't be stuck in Mexico. All right. Let's talk. We have one. We're not going to do a this or that, I, I guess, this this time. We'll, we'll save that for the next one. Why not? You got do you got questions? I've got questions. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. This or that? Yes. David Lee Roth, Sammy Hagar. As with Van Halen or solo? Mm, come on, man. Okay. Or overall? Dave, Dave Lee Roth or, or, or Sammy Hagar overall. Take the totality of their, Hagar, of their careers, inc including, including Van Halen. Hagar, totally. Okay. All right. Michael Jackson 
Elvis Presley. Elvis. Elvis. Okay. Yeah? I do like Michael Jackson. Elvis, totally. Okay. How about Mexican food or seafood? Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex as opposed to Mexican food? Or, okay. Okay, you you used to talk about straight Mexican or tex be, be, well, anything anything under the umbrella of Mexican food, it can be Tex-Mex. Over it can be just regular seafood or no, regular like regular seafood. Tex-Mex Mexican food for sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything how else? about yeah? How about Dr Pepper or Coke? I don't drink sodas, but Coke. Even though Dr Pepper is a Texas thing, you know, wasn't it invented in Fort Worth, Rick? Okay. Okay. I don't even know. Yeah. All right. What a burger or in and out? Oh, what a burger! Ah, come on. Yeah. This is a for those of that are listening. This is kind of a fun rival. What a burger is a Texas and I fast have food had, burger chain. I've had In and Out in Los Angeles before. And In and Out's a big and, West Coast thing. And yeah. it came. To, are there? Are there? There's not any in Houston yet, yeah, right? There are. I think there's. All right. One. They're all over Dallas. So it's this yeah. big rival. Yeah. Okay. What a right. burger, man. All right. How about one more? Would you would you rather vacation at the beach or would you rather vacation in Europe? And when I say in Europe, meaning like France, you know, a more traditional city that you're going to go to and tour, or would you rather go to just a resort and just relax, be on a beach? Oh man, that's tough because I like history, and and going to Europe is on my bucket list. Beach, I like I like just going to the beach and hanging out. Okay. That's it. One more. All so right. last one. All right. Last All right. one. You ready? Yes. Last one. You ready? Yep. All right. Yep. Here, here we go. Superman or Spider Man? <sighs> Spider Man. Okay. Really loved Spider Man as a kid. Okay, so the, I like this, this or that. I didn't really have these planned, but yeah. I, I, I came up with some questions on the fly. I think those are some pretty good questions. Though. Yeah. Spider Man. Love Superman too, and Batman, and the Hulk. Those are like well, my I'm, four. I, I, I'm assuming you like Batman. There's Batman. You know that's Batman. Then well, it's, I shouldn't have even asked Elvis and Michael Jackson. I should have said, "How about this one? Let me, let me revise yeah, that one." Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Frank Frank Sinatra yeah. or Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. Okay. There we go. That's yeah. a better one. Yeah. I knew Elvis was kind of a given. Yes. All right. Let's talk some Batman, Rick. Why? Oh yeah, this is yes, Batman, Batman film. film. But I will say, I go back to that. Hey, that, those are my four. I, I was a Batman guy, kid. Number one, always has been. But I also loved Superman as a kid. I also loved uh, Spider Man. I mean, I I, I got turned on the Spider Man from the '60s animated show. You know, with the, with the song. You ever, you, you know you know that old animated series where? Yeah, of course. He had no webbing on the red on the body part, only on the. Like on the 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 mask and anyway, when the song came to, out, yeah, I I used to love him on Electric Company. Yes, I did too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of a forgotten show because it was sort of like the was urban it Morgan Sesame Freeman on Electric it like, Company. Yeah, it was like the urban Sesame Street. It was yeah. awesome. I liked Electric Company and Sesame I re, Street. Yeah, I related to, to I related to Electric Company more. It felt more like the neighborhood I grew up in and. The kids I played with, yeah. and it's it, and it's a brilliant show. If you yeah. go back and watch it, it really is. Electric Company, yes, that was a blast. Oh, Morgan yeah. Freeman, um, and then I can't the Hulk. I got into that from the the Bill Bixby Lou Ferrigno series in the seventies, Incredible Hulk, I, and I that, that and they I, yeah that incarnation of Hulk, they that that is taken taken more seriously than what I'm seeing on screen in, in its current form. That's a good point. It absolutely 100% yeah. is. A, I look at Mark Ruffalo's bumbling jokester Hulk yeah. from Avengers, and I'd, I'd take that, the Bill Bixby series the over the Man on the Run. Uh, any any yeah. day of the week and twice on Sundays. And I understand he's not necessarily always going to be on the run, and I get all that, but it was a little bit of, It was a little bit of The Fugitive, uh -huh. you know? Uh, right. and, and then, of course, you know, the Hulk superhero stuff. Yeah, that was awesome. I love that show. Awesome. I mean, really, anyway. the only, only only Marvel comics I bought were Spider-Man and Hulk. I had a few Werewolf by Night 
I don't know if you remember that. They had Werewolf by Night. It was Marvel comic back in the day. All right, let's go. You ready? Let's go. What are we All talking right. about? Uh, let me find it here because I pulled it up so we could uh, get the quotes correct. Because I'm going to be gone almost yeah. practically t- 10 days. So yeah. this is the last time for us to do something together. Uh, so let's, let's, let's make talking that. about, yeah, it, I mean, well, there's, been like, there's been like no news about, uh, uh, Matt Reeves, Batman, none, you know, we've, right. we've, you and I discussed in the last vlog, uh, that was episode Emmett Smith 22. Um, we talked about, um, you know, the rumor about your scuttlebutt that Ben Affleck wants to stay as Batman now. And, you know, that was just, we're, we're just speculation, but this is not news, but it comes from Justin Kroll of Variety. He is their movie entertainment reporter, uh, and covers you know he covers a lot of the you know the DCEU and stuff like that. But he says uh, in a tweet from a couple days ago, "Take this with a grain of salt, as things are constantly changing in the DCEU, which I refuse to call it that because that was fake. But I'm hearing the Penguin is possibly the choice." To play the main villain in the Batman, or whatever ends up being called. That's me throwing that in. Sources add, even if Reeves decides to go another route, the studio could then make him the main villain in BOP, which means Birds of Prey. So let's talk about that first. What, what's your initial when you hear, you know, when you see that? First of all, would, the Penguin as the main villain in the Batman film. How do you feel about that? Mm, you know, I feel like, first of all, I, I trust Matt Reeves. If that's the character that he chose, I think, uh, you know, if you would have asked me uh, about uh, uh, Raws and uh, Scarecrow before Batman Begins, I would probably say, ooh, that's weird. Why would they, you yeah. know, then, uh, right. You just, you know, sometimes you got to think outside the box, and that's one of the great things that no one was able to accomplish w- w- with his trilogy. And so, uh, yeah, but, I mean, he's... To me, one of the most high has been one of the most high-profile uh, villains since the '60s TV show, since Burgess Meredith yeah. made him a, a kind of a household yeah. name. And uh, quite frankly, uh, Gotham aside, because it's I, I, I like the guy that's playing him. I just despise that show so much that it just doesn't really count in my book. So, still to me, the most recent you know live-action cinematic mm-hmm. ping one is is Danny DeVito's and mm-hmm. Tim Burton's film. I hated it. I hated yeah. that that version of him. Yeah. I was one of the people that was really bummed out that Nolan didn't use Oswald Cobblepot, and I didn't I didn't think that Nolan would use him as a main villain, which kind of comes full circle to your initial question here. I just thought it would, he would be a cool background. Um, well, I've said before he could have been in the Dark Knight. He could have been one of the mob bosses. Absolutely, in the Dark Knight. You know, absolutely. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You you use the Chechen. Why did why did you just have the Penguin? You know, I mean, right. Got the same effect, but I mean, who am I to question? Right, a genius. So but. I think I, I think that he could be used in that same capacity mm-hmm. that you and I were hoping for. That in yeah. Nolan, uh, a, a background player, somebody behind yeah. uh, the the curtain, so to speak, pulling strings. You, you know, he's a little mob boss. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. Make him a main villain as long as it serves the story. I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm very excited to get a fresh new penguin on screen. I have been for yeah. since uh, hold on a minute, 1992. Yeah, I I look. I've got no problem. And if uh, if Matt Reeves, if that's what he wants to do, that's fine. My only and, and I'll read the second tweet in a second. I'm getting, and it's probably. I don't think he's insinuating this at all, Justin Kroll. <laughs> So I'm just going to, I'm playing, okay, I hope, you know, what, what's the word I want to use? I, I don't, this is something I hope it's not happening. I'll put it that way. Um, I don't, I just hope that Warner Brothers isn't going, you know, we want to use the Penguin. So um, Matt Reeves, uh, you got to use the Penguin and then create a story around that. that I'm like, no, nah, no, that's no bueno. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's it goes back to, uh, well, starting with, Batman Returns, where Warner Brothers wanted the Penguin and Catwoman in the film, and then the, then you've had two different scripts crafted um, based on that. I, I don't. You don't. I have a hard time. I, vi- you don't start with, with the villain and then go. You know what I mean, Rick? I don't know if you know. Obviously, I don't have any inside information on this. I just. Yeah. I have a hard time picturing the powers that be behind the scenes talking about, man, we really need to get the penguin in a movie. That's what we need. That's yeah. the, that's a recipe for success. I just don't see that to the contrary. I would see, does anybody give a damn? And I would hope that they would have the, 
the the vision for for that character to be uh, have you know, be brought to justice. Well, so here's, um, yeah, here's his second tweet that kind of makes me that this is the the second one I read. And I went, uh, are they just wanting to get the penguin in something? But here, let me read it. Uh, this is another tweet, Justin Kroll. Um, Reeves is still working on the scripts, so that could always change, which the the penguin thing. But of the multiple birds of prey scripts submitted, I think there's like three or something. One does have the penguin as the main heavy. Either way, it seems Warner Brothers wants this character cast in the universe sooner rather than later. Does that give you pause? And he's making no. a, he's making an assumption. You know, he's not, he's not uh, reporting know, that as news. I, I, you know, I suppose, I mean, Gotham has a, you know, a decent level of success and, and, uh, the, the penguin is, is a very popular character on that show. So maybe they're pulling that, you know, from, you know, maybe they're coming up so with that, from that show. A, and, you know, a case of, look, the penguin is really popular on Gotham. He's, he, yeah, he works put on him Gotham. in a movie. Yeah, essentially, and and I guess that could be possible. Other than that, I don't see where they would be pulling that from in terms of the the public's desire for. Yeah. There's not. It's not like it's a trending hashtag or you know. There's there's not I mean, a war cry look, from from, he could from totally, fans. He could totally uh, work in a Birds of Prey movie. You know. Um, sure, he could which work in. A, I, I don't know what, why they're calling this Birds of Prey when it's more of a Harley Quinn film. So it's more of Gotham City Sirens, but. They're calling it Birds of Prey, whatever. I mean, whatever. It's, it's female right. DC characters, and I don't well, know, you know who she's going to be teamed up with or whatever. But let, I, let me, let yeah. me. I was going to answer it like this. Yeah. Here's here's the best way I can answer this. Okay. Strip it all down to basics. Here's what I don't want. I don't want Matt Reeves to have handcuffs on him at all. Okay. I yeah. want him to be able to make the film that he wants to make, yeah. and if that means he begs Ben Affleck to come back. Or that he recast this movie and reboots it entirely. Whatever, whatever his vision is. If you're going to hire him, and he's a visionary director, then let him do his job. Otherwise, yeah. let him go and, and and get more of a yes man. That's that's going to serve your particular um, desires for whatever film that you want to make. You being Mr. Mrs. Studio Exec, let Matt Reeves do his thing. If Matt Reeves wants. The penguin in his film, let him put him in there. Let him cast who he wants. Let him do his interpretation of the character, and uh, just let him be. Yeah, that's, let him be. That's my thing. If Matt Reeves, when he began saying, "Okay, I want I want this story to have this theme, and I kind of want to do go this route," you know, what would really work having the penguin. You know, I want to do a mob kind of, you know, a mob picture, and and the penguin would work, and blah blah blah. I just, I don't want it to be Warner Brothers saying, yeah, use the penguin. Um, and and the second part here of this makes me think again. Uh, I, are they are they going? Are they going to continue to try to cross pollinate these films, and you know, and set with and and cameo or you know with cameos and post credit scenes because you know if you're are you, are you going to use it you know is Matt Reeves film going to be in the same universe as as uh, this Birds of Prey film with Hart I, I don't know you know I, I, I don't, don't know, know what why they're, they're doing you know I don't know what they're doing really I mean they've said they say things they and then it sounds to me like they're ain't learned nothing yet sometimes I, I, I am really curious of why we haven't gotten something a little bit more official from that camp the matt reese camp the warner brothers camp about this batman film is affleck in or out he's probably out but what is the final word on this is matt reeves batman going to exist in a vacuum is how is that going to work is his batman going to be a part of this extended universe just why is that some of this information not public to give us just an idea of what's coming i just don't feel like they're they're doing a little bit of a disservice. Well, let me let me push back a little bit, or just or play devil's advocate. Could it be that they're just trying to have a little palate cleansing right now, and not kind of you know you don't have Aquaman until December, so kind of you know look, Justice League was a disaster, and maybe they're just letting things letting the 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 sea settle a little bit before they start, you know. 
And do they have to make an announcement? Do they have to come out and say, Rick, do they have to say, uh, you know, Burbank, California, you know, in a press release, uh, Ben Affleck is no longer Batman. Details to come later. I mean, I don't, do, do, you have, do we have to have that? No, when you frame it that way, no, of course you don't have to have that. I guess it's just, and, and maybe I have a little bit of... Uh, we we, we want to know, you and I, yeah, and, and, fan, and, 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 fans, and, and, yeah. And I'm not trying to be antsy and, or impatient yeah. here. I think it's just, I just, I want this to be done right, and I just feel like, can we just have a little bit of goodwill, a little bit of, that we know that there's a vision? Because I just feel like right now, we don't know, we don't even really know if Matt Reeves is doing this film still. No, I... We, we we really don't. You know, someone asked me is. in a mailbag, and what, what do, you, do you think it'll happen? And I, to be honest, I went, I'm fifty fifty on it. You know, yeah. I, I hope the odds are better that it's going to happen, and it, they may very well be. But asking me right now, my confidence level, it's fifty fifty. You know, hell, Matt Reeves could walk from this. It's not like this has not happened before. You know, you hire filmmakers all the time to develop a project and never comes to fruition you know right i just hope like hell they don't come out you know since it's next month now you know month and a half in terms of days but at comic-con i just don't want them trotting out directors and making announcements of films that have never happened they need to focus when they come when when, when um, comic-con rolls around next month it should be aquaman first and foremost then shazam and maybe, maybe, a little bit of Wonder Woman too, if 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 it's been filming, you know, they may have a sneak peek at it. That's that's it. That's all they need to do with with, with their DC stuff. That's it. That's it. You you what you what do you think? You mean? Yeah, it looks you look like you were kind I, I, of. I want them to make. An no, I, I'm just I'm just digesting a bunch of stuff, yeah, man. It's yeah. it's coming at me fast and hard, yeah, and I just yeah. want to. I'm trying to have an open mind about it. I'm trying to separate my kind of personal wants versus what's yeah, best for the, yeah, the, the friend. Tough. But, but, but I feel like sometimes like my personal, they're mutually inclusive. And what I, I just feel like I know, I know the answer to this. I, I know the best thing for this. And of course, who the hell am I? Yeah. But, um, but you're right. They, we need to focus on those two films and make sure that those are marketed, right. Those are perceived properly and that they're successful. I mean, we both want Wonder Woman 2 and Aquaman to be successful. There's no doubt about that. And that's that's got to be a, a, a main focus. It, yeah, it does. So um, let's hope they focus on that. You know, I, I you're right. The, you, 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 there's an internal thing with you. There's the fan part of you that wants to, I want to know, you know, it's Ben Affleck in or out. Is, it, is, is, the bat, is, is Matt Reeves' film its own thing? Or is it, are they going to continue on with this shared universe? Are they going to... Uh, you know, they're going to still do cameos. They're going to cross pollinate. What, you know, what, what, what are they going to do? Um, but on the other hand, um, maybe it is best right now for them just to kind of chill out and let, let the, you know, let the waves settle. And, uh, you know, as we move further and further away from the Justice League thing, the, you know, um, People are forgiving. People have sometimes short memories and I, I, start I think trying to get he, hyped I, up for Aquaman. You know, to be fair, to be fair, I think most people have kind of forgotten about that movie. As well, it if they even if it was even on their radar in the first place, right? A lot, to, of, a lot of people have... checked out after BBS, man. You know, they did. And I, I still think, I think as great as Wonder Woman was and as well as it did with it at the box it could have done more i think there was a little i think there's a little a stink on it from from bbs well i don't know bill i mean you, you said that before and i and i go to the heart of this thing of uh is our barometer now for success with this stuff a billion north i mean it did 800 yeah that's solid that's more than solid it was a it was a hit Right, so I, I, I know, I know, I know that Campia said that, and you kind of echoed it, or you said, I don't remember who said it first. Doesn't matter. My point is, I don't, I don't. I say this. One thing I will say is that it's a little surprising that after Wonder Woman's success and how much she was used in the marketing for Justice League, that it, that she didn't, she wasn't able to, to carry that a little more. But who knows? Yeah, we'll All see. Right. The real, the, the real test will be Wonder Woman too. So, you know, man, in closing, I'm all for having a new cinematic Penguin. If he's a supporting villain, 
great. If he's the main villain, whatever. I and Matt Reeves, I trust. Just let him do his thing and whatever he wants to do. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I'm with you. I just don't want. I hope they're not mandating. We got to use the penguin. I don't care if it's Birds of Prey or nah. Batman. And Matt Reeves, you'll make your movie with the penguin. I don't think that's the case. I don't if, any, if, 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 if I don't anything, they're, so. they're, they're, they're mandating make this in this intertwined universe or yeah. whatever, and I hope they don't do that either. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I mean, like, you mind if I plug something real quick? Go ahead. All right. So last yesterday, uh, me, Justin, and Ryan recorded our most recent Star Wars satellite episode with Chris Clow, uh, our very special guest. We called him the BOF royalty because uh, he kind of is, man. He's been doing stuff for you for a long time for, yeah. this, for, for yeah. BOF, big time and very crucial contributor to the to, to all this. He's great. But anyway, we, we break down and talk about Solo, a Star Wars story. So it was good. It's a fun, right. fun conversation. Very good. All yeah, right, man. Uh, so try to get, we'll get that up maybe tomorrow? It'll be out, yeah, this weekend, probably tomorrow. Okay. Maybe later today. All but right, I'm going to plug that. one thing. Follow me right. on Twitter at Shurik, S-H-E-W-R-I-C-K, and then go to the face of your own Facebook Obviously, follow Batman on film proper. That's the first most important thing. Go follow me over at the Batman on film shoes just because it's fun. But also, if you're into, you just want to kind of have a private conversation that's contained and not have to worry about trolls jumping in from all over the Internet, uh, hit us up on the Facebook um, Batman on film private page. And it's just a fun, safe place to come and geek out about Batman. We won't condone. We want good debates and everything, but if someone's being a shithead, we're going to get rid of them. So don't worry about that. Yeah, it's just it's uh, it's basically like functions like a message board, but without a lot of the nonsense that you will find on message boards. And, and yeah, and, and you're able to post your own stuff on there too. Yes. It's not yeah, and then that way we can all yeah. jump in. So yep. So so yep. do that. All right, that's all I have, man. All right, follow me at Batman on film on Twitter, and we talked about the Facebook uh, fan discussion group and all that so yeah batman on film 20 and speaking of which batman on film authoritative definitive and the dead gun original we will catch you next time have fun in mexico rick thanks man adios